Good morning UK, here we are at the OCR EC23 and we are just waiting for the first set of elites to come through the final obstacles and into the village. We've got Sam Clark out in the first wave, we've also got Morgan, uh, Jack Carpenter and uh, um, 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 Berg out in the elite wave. This is endless rope, so a rope traverse, followed by four short ropes and then a long rope up to the top. This event is time trial, so everybody's going off in waves of five or six people, so you do not know who's won until the end. There's Jesse to here, there from Hang On. On to Monkey Mix, this has been changed overnight to make it shorter, and you've also got different height monkey bars because they were last night, they were bloody high. Nice use of footlocks. And then on to low rig Icarus. Now these are all pure metal, so these are going to be slippy. It is wet, we've had thunderstorms and heavy rain overnight. Dance foot, dance foot, good. And that's it, into the final run. Okay, there is a martial argument going on about use of legs. Okay, that's a little bit of controversy. So, Jesse Dehir was the first athlete through. He used his legs on the final ropes of the uh, low Icarus rig, which apparently is not allowed. So we'll see how that's going to be dealt with. Well, the controversy starts. Does indeed, doesn't it? Well, Mr. Biglins here. Say hi, Mr. Biglins. <laughs> I know, we've actually got people online. It's only 10 to 8 in the morning. Okay, so that's the yeah, first two. Already. It is indeed, isn't it? But the sun is shining now. <laughs> so Mr. Biglands is chilling out because he's not racing until half past one. Did you say hello? Say hello, there we go. If anyone's got any questions, anything they want to know, please just send a message and uh, I will answer everything that I can. So again, this is time trial, so we don't know until we finished, although clearly Jesse De here was miles ahead there. So we're waiting for Sam Clark, who I think is just about to come through. Actually, I think I see a UK top on Popeye. Yep, there he is. You just see in the distance there. There's Leon. So Sam went off in the first wave, doing brilliantly, literally just on the hills of Leon there. Go on Sam! trying to see on his wrist there. I think Sam has got two bands, so that means that there's going to be a penalty loop for him. Yeah, so Sam's got two bands. There are penalty loops at the end of the course. So there's three, you can do a maximum of two penalty loops by losing two bands. And that is a jerry can carry. Get out really far now, stay on that rope and get as far as you can. 
call that. Oh, nice. Yes, Sam. Yes. Awesome, Sam. Swing through. Ah, oh, he's unfortunately he used the uh, the rope on the ball, which you're not allowed to use. You can only touch the attachments, so that's another band at Sam. Um... Oh, nice one. So on to Low Icarus. So this is the low rig. It's actually not that low. It's not low like we would see in the UK, but it is that awkward height of keeping the legs up. Yes, Sam, well done! That's Sam in, he's got two penalty loops to run. And next we are waiting for uh, Morgan and Ferg, who went off about 15 minutes ago. So to give you an indication, it took the leaders about 17 minutes to get around this 3K course. So we're just back to endless ropes. I'm seeing some blue shirts running around like crazy over there, so I'm assuming that may mean that we've got some uh, some other UK team coming through. We've got Shelly, all kitted up, <laughs> showing off her beautiful UK tip kit. Jason, wait for the camera. What do you think of the course? <laughs> what do you think is going to be the toughest obstacle out there today? It's just this combo, yeah. On their own, they're not too bad, but put them all together and it's just going to burn. So that's Endless Ropes, Monkey Mix and Icarus. And after, before these, just to point out, you've got Popeye, which is um, one of the twisty things where you have to lift up a 15 kilo weight for the men, 10 for the women, um, and just twist to bring it up in the air. So that is absolutely burning the forearms before the guys even get into these final three obstacles. If I can find a charging cable, I will be on and off all day. So any questions, please just drop them on the uh, the live stream or drop me a message as well, and I will answer anything I can. For those of you joining, you can see from the ground, it's wet and soggy. We had really heavy thunderstorms overnight. I slept through them, so that's awesome. Uh, everybody else didn't. So we've had really heavy thunderstorms. We are predicted to have on and off rain all day today. Uh, so we we will be watching obviously to see what does that do to the obstacles. Do they make any changes to accommodate the weather? So again, on its own, this is relatively doable. It's just ropes, um, but obviously when you put it after Popeye and before these other high, um, the high and the low rig, it is absolutely killing on the arms. Keep an eye out for those UK guys coming through. Come on, Mo! Okay, we've got Mo coming through. So this is on to the Popeye. Come on, Mo! Come on, you got this. Morning, AJ. You can see from most face there, it's not a, it's not technically difficult, but it is a killer on the forearms. You've got this, Mo. Keep Come going. Come on, Mo. So this one's not a band taker. It is unlimited attempts, but it is slow. Come on, Mo. Come you got on. This. Oh, thanks, baby. And you say how you to live, and not me. That's charming. Come on, Mo. Almost there, Mo. You've got this. 
So also in this wave is Ferg, and then not too far behind them will be Jack Come on, you've got it, you've got it. Come on. 